Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today from Steadfast Publishing, also known as 316 Publishing, we have the first ever compact LSB. I happen to get the faux leather cover that focuses on the armor of God, so let's take a look at this thing. First of all, the cover is rather beautiful. I love that stamping. I think they did a great job on making this cover really attractive, and this faux leather is actually pretty good. It's amazing how far faux leather has come. Then with the spine, you have the LSB logo, Holy Bible, and of course the publisher name. You have one double-sided satin ribbon. This one is a 1 8 which fits a compact Bible really well. also has really nice perimeter stitching, and check this out. When you open it, it has a synthetic liner. So that is going to cause this thing to hold up really well. So now let's talk about some things I love about this. Okay, first of all, I love the paragraph layout and I love the font size. I think they did a really good job on that. However, it is advertised as an eight and a half point font. And we do have a compact to compare it to that says it's an eight and a half point font. This one is typeset by 2K Denmark. I am not sure who this is typeset by, but to me that looks quite a bit larger than this. So to call this an 8.5 is probably okay, but this is definitely a larger looking font to me. There are no accent colors, and a couple of things about this, they have a center line dividing the two columns, which is nice in most cases. And then of course you have very understated verses, except they become bold whenever a new paragraph starts to let you know that's when the new paragraph is beginning. There's very limited notes and references in here. Occasionally you'll see some regarding weights and measures and things like that. But ultimately, this is designed just to be sat down with and read and kept as compact as possible. And one of the things that makes this Bible thin is going to be one of its disadvantages as well. That is a 28 GSM paper. And as you can see, this paper has a lot of ghosting. You can almost read the chapter numbers on the other side. Now, in their defense, this is the Scatter Quintel. This is the 28 GSM paper that is coated French Indopaque. It has some ghosting too. This seems to be a bit more significant. While this ghosting looks a bit washed out, you can see this almost kind of grays out the page. So the poetic settings will probably be the most difficult for me to read. The chapter numbers are nice and bold, but every now and then you can see in here where these lines, they go, they're not perfectly line matched and they'll go one side or the other. Like for example, even here, you can see where that line goes all the way through. I wish they had just gone all the way down because that, that ghosting is pretty rough on this one. But because these lines aren't perfectly line matched, sometimes you will see them either ghost on this side or that side. For me, that's just a little bit annoying, but it's actually not that big of a deal. When you get into the New Testament, you're going to see that this is a black letter text. It seems like there was one LSB that was released with a red letter. There are no chapter introductions or nothing like that. But this is a well laid out Bible. It's a well thought out Bible. And it has exactly what you need. Like I said, sometimes at the bottom, you're gonna get a little reference there to let you know a weight or a measure, which makes another step that they did kind of baffling to me. And that's at the end, you get your monetary values and your weights and measures. When, if you just go ahead and put it in the text, you really don't need this. It could have made the Bible a little bit thinner. Maybe they could have gone with a bit thicker of a paper, but there's no commentary in this. There's no maps in this. You got a couple end sheets and that's it. So for their first compact, I'm going to say, well done. Here are some improvements I would suggest. I would suggest going with a thicker paper, going ahead and letting this be a little bit of a thicker Bible. Also, just go ahead and eliminate the table of weights and measures in the back because I don't think it's necessary, especially since they mostly define them on the bottom. I get it. Sometimes you want to be able to see them all at once so you can kind of get them all solidified in your mind. But for me, having them within the text is fine and it's a way to save space. But overall, nice job. The gilding on this is excellent. The gilding on every LSB I've ever gotten has been excellent. Nice headband, tailband, sewn binding, all the things that you'd want in a nice durable Bible. And these faux leather ones are very inexpensive. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nichols Worth.